Ready? Go! Hey! Black Widow finally came out! Uh, after multiple delays from its original release date of May 2020, a lot of people were saying, you know, do we even still need this movie? Does anyone really care? Is it a little too little too late? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not little at all as far as scope of the movie is concerned, but I do think it is a little too late. Not because of where it belongs in Phase 4 or because everything else had to be reconfigured and rescheduled, but it's a movie that I really wish we got five years ago because the chemistry between Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson is top-notch. It's a missed opportunity not to be able to say that we can get another movie or possibly a spin-off series with the two interacting and joining up and teaming up together. Seeing the family dynamic with David Harbour and, and Rachel Weisz, um, it, it's a shame that we can't see this anymore knowing what happened to Black Widow in Avengers Endgame. Speaking of David Harbour and Rachel Weisz, um, I thought David Harbour was the scene stealer in this movie. He was every bit of the comedic moments throughout this whole movie. You know, he's at the end of the day, he's like this big brute of a guy with a heart of gold. Rachel Weisz, she really fits in this role and I feel like she fits very well in the MCU. The movie is pretty much an action-packed movie that has a part of it that deals with family drama and family dynamics. Um, but the overall sense I got from the movie while I was watching it that it really feels like a Bond movie to me. You have a, a spy who's dealing with his own personal issues along with trying to carry out certain missions and all that mixed in action scenes in there. Um, this is the feeling that I got throughout the whole movie and I'm curious if anyone else picked that up on that as well. Speaking of Bond movie, let's talk about the villain. Um, you know, the villain that is in this movie is very much like your typical Bond villain. Um, and I'm not talking about Taskmaster here. Um, there is an overarching um, villain um, in the movie and you know, he falls into the same villain tropes, you know, whether it's um, monologuing or, you know, being a mysterious person that no one really seems to know what he's up to or why he does the things that he does. Um, I feel like a lot of it hasn't really been explained, but this is the person that really put together the Black Widow program. Um, we get to also really understand why Budapest is an important thing to Natasha. We keep hearing uh, little mentions throughout the entire MCU through the, all these years about Budapest and how it was something that she either doesn't want to talk about or if Clint Barton's around, good old Hawkeye, how they share a special bond because of things that happen in Budapest. So it was really nice to finally get that type of clarity as to why is Budapest so important? Going back to villains and when I mentioned Taskmaster, it was really great to see an on-screen version of Taskmaster, you know, after knowing so much about him through the comics, some cartoons and, and video games and things like that. It was really, really cool to see how they portrayed this in a live action film. The only disappointment that I had is that we didn't get enough of Taskmaster. The scenes that, you know, the character was in, it was really interesting to see how um, the mirroring of fighting styles really come to play, but I feel like we didn't get to see enough of that. If you're wondering about where this movie falls within the timeline, it's very obvious when you watch it that it falls Falls, um, in between the events of Civil War and Infinity War. The great thing about this movie is that we've known Natasha as being someone who has a hard time dealing with trust. Really, really interesting to see that family dynamic when it was presented to her um, after so many years of not being around and having her adjust to all that. Um, we get to see more of Natasha's character, which is something, again, would have been great if we got to see this earlier on in the MCU universe. Black Widow is kind of a mixed character when it comes to the re response from fans. Um, some people really like the character, some people think she's a throwaway character. But I think after watching more about her backstory, learning more about how she deals with things on her own in this standalone movie, uh, I think it's going to change a lot of people's opinions. Now, just like any other Marvel movie, there is bits of comedy throughout the movie here. Some may think it's a little bit too much. Um, I know one of the biggest criticisms that Guardians of the Galaxy 2 had was that too much comedy. Everyone was a comedian, right? And you do get a little bit of that here. Although I will have to say I am amazed about Florence Pugh, not only because of her acting, but 
Her comedic timing is very on point. I found myself laughing so much about all the little things that she would say and the little, you know, quick remarks and you know her witty banter between herself and Natasha and the rest of the family. Also, within without skipping a beat, she's able to also display a lot of emotion. This movie ends in a way that's a little open-ended, so we may possibly see some of these characters in a future movie. But I really do feel like again something that I've been kind of lobbying for a while now is let's do a Disney Plus show that allows us to spend more time with these characters. So there is a post credit scene, but you have to wait all the way up to the end of all the credits. Wait through all the way to the end, get a full post credit scene there that kind of ties somewhat close to Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And for those of you who've watched this series, I think you will be pleasantly surprised and pleased with this type of post credit scene. Overall, it was a very fun Marvel movie. Um, it was great to see the Marvel movies coming back to the big screen again. As a guy who has been lobbying for more TV shows, more Disney Plus shows, because I really do think you get more out of them, I can't lie. You know, Marvel movies still work also. And watching this movie, it really worked for me. So can't wait to see the reactions from other people like yourself. Let me know what you guys think if you check it out. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, and as always, stay cool, stay classy, stay safe. Reading Rainbow for the win. Let's use that as our keyword of the day. Um, if you've watched this video all the way through, mention Reading Rainbow. A lot of people just see the mentions of Reading Rainbow, Reading Rainbow, Reading Rainbow. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna be wondering like, what are they talking about? I thought this was a video about Black Widow. Anyways, I'll catch all of y'all next time. Peace!